you know, I got 98% of what I wanted. I'm pretty happy. The sequester cuts could now be affecting the poorest children in the state. News 18's Kelly Roberts explains how Indiana's early Head Start program faces a 5% funding cut and how those cuts could affect students. Robin Curry Shoemaker and Myra Rennick have nearly 55 years combined working in social services. They are used to cuts, but this year they say they are seeing the worst. That we have seen for many, many, many years, probably since the Reagan era. Those effects basically will carry over for us for up to about 10 years. Those effects are coming from sequester cuts to the state's early Head Start program. The program is getting a 5% cut. Curry Shoemaker is the director of the program in Covington. Her office serves seven counties, including Benton, Warren, Fountain, and Montgomery. Rennick is the executive director of Community Action Program Incorporated of Western Indiana, the agency that runs Head Start. Rennick says she and her staff have to face what is inevitable. Funding cuts will mean student cuts in the classroom. That's always an option, you know, that we will cut those services and we'll have to. That's the only way that we can cut 125000 from our services. Some cuts may be made to transportation. Head Start officials say they may narrow down the routes the buses pick children up. They say no matter what decision they make, any cut is going to be a losing situation. We do door to door, which is what we're, we've been mandated to do. Maybe look at some pickup points for that. And you hate to make cuts to things such as insurance or anything like that for staff. You know, it's just just kind of feel trapped. Curry Shoemaker says she hopes to make cuts in different areas before cutting students from the roster. No changes will be made this school year. The Covington office does not receive its grant until July. Reporting in Covington, Kelly Roberts, News 18.